countering quiet quitting. By now, you're probably well acquainted with the warning signs that one of your team members may be shifting into quiet quitting mode. Lower enthusiasm, reduced productivity, unusual tardiness and sick leave, missing deadlines, and leaving projects unfinished, and other similar indicators. There may be reasons other than quiet quitting behind these changes in behavior, but whether that's the case or not, the one thing leaders cannot afford to do is ignore them. There are five simple things every leader can do to prevent quiet quitting. Number one, this is not a time to bury yourself in your office. Keep the door open, get out on the floor, stay in touch and talk to people to get a sense of the pulse and how people are feeling. Number two, openly talk about workload. Find out if team members are coping or drowning. The chances are most of them won't come in and tell you, so they're more likely to speak up if they know you're going to check in with them. Number three, now this might sound obvious, but make sure they're taking the breaks they need. Number four, recognizing effort and commitment is even more important than ever when people are feeling stressed and overloaded. Informal, in the moment acknowledgement is very powerful. Number five, have open conversations about their careers, exploring what's possible and being honest about limitations. What do you think? Is quiet quitting a significant risk in supply chain companies this year?